So Seth and, and Chris, um, as Christians, can you talk about uh, now how, uh, from a theological perspective, uh, how, how racism should be dealt with? Within America, <laughs> race, I argue, is deeply embedded within the structures of American Christianity, the way we practice it. Um, race uh, was used to justify the beginnings of colonialism and the beginnings of slavery, right? Um, you have um, uh, colonists, Christopher Columbus among them, um, make the claims that indigenous people, um, Africans, uh, the way in which they lived and, and performed their humanity wasn't Christian. It wasn't this white European notion of humanity. Therefore, these people are less than, right? They are less than human. They aren't, they're not human, and they're something closer to an animal, mm -hmm. right? This is why we see the, the, the language of the animal still being used with regards to people of color. This is why we have a president that says, these are the animals of this particular kind of gang, right? They use that language, and, and, and people know what's, what they're talking about because it harkens back to chattel slavery, where you have the animalization of black folk of using them as chattel labor, right? Um, and so we can't escape the fact that Christianity was a part of the reason why they, uh, the original colonists made this argument, right? That they're saying, well, they don't practice Christianity, and in this sense, they don't bear the Imago Dei, even though that's inconsistent with the gospel. Um, and I think fundamentally, from a theological perspective, this is at the core of racism, is that we see others some folks in dominant culture see others as not human, as not really bearing the image of God in them, right? Because the image of God has been conflated, right? The way it's been structured from colonialism is that the image of God, it models white, male, heterosexual norms. This is the image of God that was created, right? This elevation of white maleness that, that at the same time, um, uh, lowers um, anything else. And so in our aspiration as people to be seen as human, as people occur to be seen as human, all too often we find ourselves performing whiteness, performing the kind of behaviors we think will allow the dominant culture to see us as human because we've conflated human with whiteness. And so from the theologically what we need to do is really begin to unpack and, and, and reconstruct a new theological anthropology, right? What we believe uh, the God-human relationship is. What does it fundamentally mean to be human from a Christian perspective, right? How, do, how has God fashioned us to be in existence? And so what I do is I, I argue uh, for kind of a, a three kind of pronged approach uh, where I talk about the image of God, um, I talk about the um, mission of God and imitating Christ, right? And so in this sense, we all have to reflect uh, the fact that the mission of God is to be, to, to care for creation, mm -hmm. and that includes caring for other people. <coughs> um, uh, how we go about uh, doing that is, is, is beginning to recognize that we all bear the image of God, right? And that image of God is rooted in love, so our relationships and care should be rooted in love. And uh, from a, a praxis-oriented perspective, we should imitate Christ in the ways in which we love each other, right? This solidaristic life praxis of Jesus um, is what one, one theologian um, calls it, Sean Copeland. And I think by modeling that kind of new way of seeing each other as human, we can begin to address the historical legacies of, again, a theologically justified racism. Mm -hmm. um, but until churches begin to wrestle with how we've defined what it means to be human and what that God-human encounter requires of us, we're going to be replicating and, and repeating the, the same kind of theological justification that allows us, that allowed uh, Christians to exploit humans and, 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 and quite honestly exploit creation for the last five or six hundred years. Mm -hmm.